Okay, what's up, everybody? I know everything's a little different right now. Normally, you guys are getting ready for the Big East Power Show in Syracuse, New York. Really cool event there. You usually get to check out all the new gear, swing by all the vendors, OEMs, whatever it may be, and figure out exactly what you want this winter. Uh, due to a little bit of you know, change in times, uh, I got Ross Robinson with me here, who, if you guys are familiar with 509, you probably know Ross, and he's been missing for the last year or so but guess who's back we're back we are back ross is back with 509 uh head to toe but uh ross is primarily a mountain rider and we're gonna quickly kind of fill you guys in on some of the new trail stuff for 21 ross what's your kind of experience with trail riding um very minimal yeah. you know grew up grew up west coast and I've always stayed West Coast, have not uh, spent a ton of time on the trails. I've had my fair share of freezing uh, rides in and out of the mountains where I wish I had some true trail gear. Um, but I think regardless of where you ride or the type of train you ride, um, you know, having the right gear and being dialed in that sense is, is very important for a successful and fun adventure. So let's chat about it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, to hit on that, though, in a, in a roundabout way, you've kind of had quite a bit of experience with uh, some trail gear because in your, your six seasons of guiding, I believe, um, a lot of Midwest, East Coast guys coming out to the West to, to try it. And, and I know I'm a Midwest guy originally. I know we love to talk about being from there and what it's like <laughs> in riding and the cold temps and, you know, getting the correct gear. So, yeah, for 2021, I mean, we've expanded our, our Delta line of helmets. We have the R4 Ignite, the R3 Carbon, and still the R3. Everything has been updated. Anything you guys were asking for in the past has been addressed, and that is still, you know, heated windshield option, plug and play right into your sled, clear vision all day. Really cool helmet, um, can remove the shield as well, and uh, rock a goggle with it. Um, but you know, there's also a lot of uh, cool options for the guy that does want to go west, um, it, but rides the trails. Ross, what do you look for in a jacket if you kind of want to do both? What what stands out to you? I think the that that ability to to change your layers and potentially remove layers um, is really important in the in the backcountry in the mountains is you want to be able to go to a shell if possible or very little insulation for those warm days or when you're really working hard. But then you also want to be able to, to throw layers on for the trail ride home. So that's how we, um, we kind of regulate our temperature is through layering. So if you can do that with a jacket, um, that's, that's a big plus. And like you said um, about the helmets, being able to throw goggles on a helmet that is also you can have a, a full face shield as well. It is a big plus because we, you get really cold um, with rocking kind of a, a goggle standard helmet that we ride in the West a lot. It can really freeze you up if you're, if you don't have that full face shield. Yeah. And so it, with everything you just hit on, I mean, that's why we came out with the R200 jacket um, the name 200 and R200 comes from the 200 gram thin slate removable liner. It's a, uh, you know, a bit of a, aggressive build to it as far as you know a little shorter skirt on it uh, some uh, bend in the elbows so it's a really good 50 50 trail rider mountain rider good just well-rounded crossover jacket you know it's 300d cordura uh, 5 tech 10k 10k performance on it but has that removable liner to go from an insulated jacket to a shell so i know a lot of you hit the road and drive an insane amount of hours and miles to the West, you know, a couple times a winter or once. And, and you, you don't want to spend all that extra money in a whole nother gear set. You're already spending a ton of money to get out West, whether you're going out, you know, to ride with, you know, somebody like Dan, Sane, Chris, whatever it may be, or just with your buddies, um, that R200 jacket, is going to keep you happy on the trail at home as well as on the mountain out west. If you don't, if you don't plan on going west, don't worry. Uh, there is plenty of gear options for 2021. Also for you, the uh, range jacket and bib we carried over into 2021 with a few really cool updates, um, adding a five mag uh, magnetic overlap flap over the zippers. Kind of. The, it fills that void between the top of your bib and your, your neckline. You know, there's that, there's always that point where the two overlap under the jacket, and then there's kind of that, 
that space where it's just the zipper line. So we added a magnetic flap there to help cut some wind, you know, cover up the zipper. Uh, it kind of matched the feel where the bib ends in the jacket, uh, ends in the top of the neckline there. Um, that is also a 300D Cordura. Um, it's a 200 gram thin slate in the body and 150 grams in the arm. So gonna keep you nice and warm and really comfortable on those long cold trail days. And uh, we do have a, a ton of awesome products for those guys that ride those really, really cold days as well. One of my favorite pieces is the Backcountry Ignite glove. Um, 200 grams of insulation on the back, 100 on the palm of the glove. It's got a gauntlet. This is what I go to when it's going to be a cold trail ride in or out. And I can even do, you know, I can ride in these gloves as well. With that heated element, it really makes for a comfortable ride. So is there something even more than this heated glove that we're talking about? Thank you for bringing me back to that. That R200 jacket, because it's a removable liner, we now have a ton of options for liners. There is a heated Ignite liner as well. So you can take out your 200 gram on a, on a colder day, toss in the heated one. I, you're cheating at that point. I mean, you're cozy, warm. You're, you might be prone to falling asleep. That might be the only downside <laughs> because you're so comfortable. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to run the heated, there is a 300 gram, an R300 insert, 100 grams warmer than what comes in the R200 jacket when you purchase the jacket. So ton of options to get yourself absolutely dialed in. Um, if you don't see yourself traveling west or hitting the mountains or doing some of that crossover riding, we still have the range insulated jacket as well. Uh, the range is actually a full head to toe option. There's a range, or excuse me. The range is actually a full head to toe option. There is a range bib that you can pair with that jacket. It is also a fully lined 200 gram Finsulate. Um, it's a 300D Cordura all over, but reinforced 600D on those high impact points. And Ross, I know that means a lot to anybody. Um, I know just trail riding, some guys might overlook safety, but I'm all about knee pads or knee braces. And you have a lot of contact there between the side panel and the sled. Yeah, especially, I mean, you're, you're gripping the snowmobile with your legs a lot, no matter whether you ride mountain or trail. And those areas wear very aggressively. And especially if you wear knee braces, knee pads, like a lot of us do now, um, you need that durability in those high, high wear places for the, the product to last. And when you spend a lot of time on the snow, that's very important. You need it to last and, and continue to work well. Right. Yeah. So really well-rounded setup for the trail guy there. I mean, also built in knee pads now, removable uh, foam insert behind the knee. You can take them out. So there is some built-in protection from uh, the bib itself. So Ross, I, I appreciate the, the quick time here and, and you know, chit-chatting about winter 21. Uh, we're bummed we can't be out there with you guys at the Big East Power Sports Show, but hopefully uh, this time next year we'll be rolling into New York and, and you know, be able to hang out with everyone. Yeah, hopefully we can see you guys uh, in another year. But until then, stay safe and have fun. Yep. Check out ride509.com for all this stuff, as well as your local dealer. Hit the dealer locator. If you, if you don't know if there's one in your area, every single dealer in the U.S. is on our locator. So just type your zip code in and bam, you'll find uh, the gear hopefully right down the road from you.